I'm really bad at intros, so I'm not even going to try today. Today I'm going to be wasting five minutes of your time showing you how to get a moving background on your computer with full customization. Now you may think to yourself, this is a pretty cool image I have in the background, but if you pay attention, it's actually my wallpaper on my second monitor. And I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing. So the first thing you need is this cool program called Wallpaper Engine. And it's only, let's see, it's only $4.49 Canadian, which is around $3 US dollars. So it's definitely a recommended buy for me. Also, I'll be giving away a free copy for every 10 likes for the first couple weeks that this video is up. So when you first install the program, this is what it's going to look like. When you're installing the program, make sure to select that it boots up with your computer. That way when your computer launches, your desktop's already running. So this is what it looks like when you first start the application after installing. You have all of your monitors right here and you can select the options that you want. You can have a wallpaper on each monitor. You can stretch it to go through all of your monitors. You can clone your wallpaper which means that every wallpaper is the same on every monitor, which is what I have selected. So you can tap away, and as you can see here, I have a couple things that are pre-installed. Most of the backgrounds that you'll find are free. There are only about six that are for sale from the actual developers, but they're not as good as the community workshop ones. So now we can search up anything we like here. Let's say we like space, so we find something that has to do with space. This looks cool. We hit the subscribe and then what the program will do, once the file is installed, it'll automatically select and put itself as your background. Sorry about that. Some of them do come with music. So now when you install one of these backgrounds, you have options like positioning as well as the playback rate where you can speed it up or make it slower. Some of the coolest ones are these ones which are audio digitizers. As you can see, if I launch this one, which I've already configured with my own background, which I'll show you how to do, all you have to do is scroll down, you can select what you want it to say, and then go to background image, and then select the image, which is what we have right here. So once you install these audio digitizers, you go up here to the gear icon and then you select your quality and anti-aliasing so that it knows to use your GPU because this does require a little bit of GPU for the auto visualizers. So now if we play audio, like this song I have ready to go, you can see it makes this cool background effect where it digitizes all of your audio and shows you the wavelengths. Sorry about the weird cut, I forgot to mention this, but another cool feature of the program is that you can create your own wallpaper. So if I drag this over, you can see that we can either create a wallpaper from a file or use a template. Let's end the project GGG and we'll make it have a flag effect and then we can import an image. Let's say the Forge logo background. We can select that, make any customizations that we want here. Then we can also add more effects from the drop down list below. Let's choose this clouds, select OK. And then once we finish our wallpaper, we can apply it. And now, as you can see, we have the Forge logo, which is my Discord server, as a smoky background. You can customize this however you want, which makes the program very versatile. So that's pretty much it. It's an extremely easy program to use. Very cool. I definitely recommend it. Just to show you guys, here are some examples right quick. This is the one I personally use. And then we can also turn this one on. This one has a day and night scene that cycles. This is the Black Ops 3 multiplayer background. The first one I showed you, watching the universe. And we also have this cool dystopian background, which is moving as well. 
Thanks for tuning in. I hope I didn't waste too much of your time. Make sure not to tell your friends. That way you can be the cool one. You can tell them that you coded it yourself and be the envy of all of your friends. Have a great day, and I'll see you in a week.